Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. It's Jordan here. Just finished getting the kids down for the 14th time tonight and it's now 7.30 in the morning and I'm getting ready to start a day. Got lots of stuff going on today because the Lego room needs some attention. There's some things down there that I'm not a huge fan of right now. So I'm going to be fixing that today in this video. Hey, real quickly before we continue with this vlog, just want to give you a quick reminder that you can come meet me at the Edmonton Brickyard on September 24th, that's a Saturday, uh, starting at one o'clock. First things first, I gotta make myself a strong pot of coffee here. Oh man, it was a long night. Jose's still sleeping, she's on the couch upstairs. The kids are down, woohoo, it's time to party. Let's get the pot going. <laughs> so let's address the situation while that bad boy brews here. First off, check out my pants. Those are the uh, Christmas specials right there. Hey, <laughs> I can't wait to wear these bad boys on Christmas morning. You know I'm a Christmas fan when I'm already talking about Christmas. Okay, so there's that stuff there, which I'm not a huge fan of it being over there. And I'm not a huge fan of this display over here either. Yeah, I've sort of got to fix that. So today we're going to be building an avatar display. Mm -hmm. So you're going to just like figure out how I'm going to do that. I know there's like one open shelf right there, half a shelf there, but I, that's a pretty big footprint, you know. Turok Maktao takes up a lot of space, so I gotta figure out how I'm going to fit all that stuff on the displays here in the Lego room. So that's the first thing that I gotta take care of. Paka! They definitely don't make that noise. Paka! But I was also thinking to myself, it'd be cool if I could have this guy floating like above uh, Pop Culture Street, or even above the campground. I'm flying above. What do you think, Avatar in the city, or is that just too much? Maybe that's just too much. Maybe that's over the top. I don't know. Turok Maktao is actually pretty front heavy, I've noticed. If I try to just put some transparent elements down there on those studs, or like on the bottom of those plates, I should say, and have it float, just like the uh, Black Widow helicopter is doing there, it actually falls forward. So it needs to be connected using some sort of technic element if I want to have it here in the city, like looking like it's flying. So I don't know if that's an option for me at this point. Yeah, because as you can see, right there is the technic bit that goes right into that circular plate there. And then it holds it up like that there. So I don't know. It looks like I might have to have this thing on display, which I don't really mind because I think it's going to look better with all of the other avatar sets. Oh man, could you imagine if somebody made like a big Pandora mock? If you're a big mock creator out there, I challenge you to create a Pandora mock. Jake Sully does too. In fact, I don't even think it needs to be like a big world, you know? It could just be like on a shelf. Maybe I've gotta do that. I know I've got too many projects, so I'm not committing to doing that today. That's crazy. But I think this is where the uh, Pandora or avatar sets are gonna go. I don't know, just, it's just sort of boring, you know, like when you come here and you're like, ah, <laughs> it's not the best shelf. So I think I'm going to put them there. I could be wrong though. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this bloody thing. It's so tall. Like it requires such a big shelf. I could take the point off. I don't know where to put it. It's like a brick though. Ugh, look at this Lego. <laughs> I just don't know where to put it. The other thing that I got to think about is that giant Bowser. Doesn't that giant Bowser require a big wide shelf? I would think that would have to fit over here, like on one of the PAX units. Then also Black Panther, are we gonna do that? I don't know. One thing I do know for sure is that I'm gonna probably get rid of my pet's brickheads. They're just not really doing it for me. And they're just taking up space up there I don't know, there's just too many of them, I think. Yeah, I prefer the pop culture brickheads that I can barely even see or access right now. Oh, speaking of brickheads, I haven't even built my new Darth Vader Obi-Wan Kenobi brickhead yet. What the heck is wrong with me? Well, look who decided to join the party. Hey, Tico. See, this guy's fast asleep. Oh yes, looking very wise. But she is not. That's the way it is with twins. There's always one awake. See, and that lasted all of, what was that, 20 minutes or so? Mm-hmm. 
That's why God gave us coffee. You know what, before we continue with that display stuff, I want to open these two parcels. I have no idea what this is, it showed up in our P.O. box, and it's like a brick. And this one has Lego in it, came from James. Let's crack them open and see what's inside, thanks everyone. Oh, this is cute. Soft building blocks for the twins. I don't know if that came from my Amazon registry or what. Thank you. That's awesome. James says, Jordan, congrats on the birth of your twins. Hope everyone is doing well. I have been watching your videos for a few months. Enjoy them. Keep up the good work. I see you're always needing parts for the mills plate in the city. A friend gave me a bunch of old Lego. So I went through it and I'm sending you all the stuff. Also the new night minifigure because he ended up with five of them. The new night minifigure? Thanks, James. Woo! I need that one. It's not on the wall here. Thank you. And there it is. Built. Beauty. Look at that horse piece. Now, she also comes with a shield. How is she supposed to hold a sword, the horse, and the shield? Am I missing something there? What's up with that? <laughs> Either way, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> it's on the wall. In addition to that, looks like we got some leaf elements. There's some plants, some larger 2 by brick. Some 2x2 two two brick. I am fresh out of 2x2 two two brick, so thank you. Yes, rock panels. Ooh, and masonry bricks. 2x4 brick. Woo! Also, a uh, 16x16 16 16 base plate there and a bunch of other plates. This is just like Mills material right here, man. James hooking it up. Thank you, James. Look at all those tiles, too. Whoa. Nice. Thank you so much, man. This goes a long way. Highly appreciate it. Let's see if this stuff will sort itself. Oh, it didn't. But hey, thanks for sorting it in the bags, man. Now it's going to be easy to put into the part bins. There's my drawer for 2x2 two two, uh, bricks. Completely empty. That's actually another thing that I'm going to be doing today is doing a little bit of sorting just because this doesn't really look good. You know, the other day I was really excited about filling these up and changing this and I didn't even get around to doing that because I got to get rid of this set of drawers there and hopefully compile all this stuff. Also this area has become my dumping ground unfortunately so I hope to clean that up a little bit. That's supposed to be medieval you know I, <laughs> like what the heck am I doing? Uh, all right let's place that avatar stuff before I get distracted part sorting. Looking pretty good though hey. Look at that shot. That looks awesome. Also the other day, right? Simpsons house looking good over there. Oh, I love that shot though. That's my favorite shot right there. Bam. I think that looks pretty good just for like bombing it on a shelf. Pretty decent. I would love to make this like an avatar shelf. <laughs> Not today, obviously, but that would be a really cool project to do to turn that into like Pandora obviously get rid of the castle and just make this its own little scene, you know? That's one thing that you could do. Rather than having a giant Lego city like myself, if you were like, didn't have as much space, you could build scenes in a shelf. So you could make this like, you know, a Pandora shelf. You could make this a Mario shelf. You could make this a Hogwarts shelf. They, you could make a Star Wars scene, you could make Hoth, you could make anything you want on the shelves. And I think that's a really cool thing that people could do is build little dioramas on shelves. Like for example, you could even build the trench run or a trash compactor or whatever you want on a shelf. And I just think that would be a really cool concept. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to do that, but it's just something that a lot of LEGO creators have done and could do more of. Hmm, just a thought. But that's where I've placed it for now. I would ultimately like to raise up, you know, the plane in the back a little bit higher, maybe raise up some of these banshees a little bit higher. But for now, I think that looks pretty good with Turok Muktau sort of towering over top. I'm glad that I gave it one of these shelves. You know, I guess we could span it across two Billy shelves, rather. We could have it go like across two, maybe. Or have it double stacked or something like that to give a little bit more visibility. 
but I went with the PAX unit for now. Will that change in the future? Maybe. But there you go. Avatar stuff dealt with. Uh, I take that back. Avatar stuff not dealt with. I forgot about the minifigures. Duh. Which are by far some of my favorite minifigures this year and probably of all time. Like, I love these figures. <laughs> They're actually, like, really well done. So this big uh, box of Lego here is the next thing I'm going to deal with. Oh, I really should just go through and pull out some of the big plates, hey? Oh, that's not even Lego. Huh. I really should just go through here and pull out some of the easy stuff. I think I'm going to stick this uh, in a different bin of Lego. It's in the garage. I don't know, though. Oh, look at that. I need that. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, I do not feel like sorting for hours on end right now. Ooh, another plate. Ooh, another piece of candy. Ooh, another piece of candy. <laughs> oh, I'm really considering just like combining this with another bin of Lego that I have to sort though. It's actually in my garage. It's right up there. Oh, should I combine them <laughs> and stow it away for a future date or what? Some classic stuff in these bins. But... I ended up combining them. I don't have time to sort all this stuff right now. Even these frames are in here. I used to use these for my minifigures, but I no longer do. Now the issue is, is this thing is pretty heavy. And I don't know if I should be putting it up top there. On my table shelves. I've been meaning to replace these, but every time I go look at shelves, they're like smaller than these. And they're like super expensive. And these are actually pretty stable. And I don't want to buy expensive shelves and decrease the amount of storage we have because we got a lot of crap in here you know all this stuff needs a home shipping boxes and decorations and lego boxes and christmas decorations and suitcases and lego that needs to be sorted i guess you see the issue is most people that have a house like this they use their basement as storage but we use our basement as a lego room so all of this stuff has to fit in the garage. There's no other place to put it. What do you think of the position of the Empire State Building? Is that good? There we go. Perfect. With the removal of that bin there, I can actually get in here now. But I got to get all this stuff off the ground as well. Sorry, it's probably pretty loud in here. But that's going to involve me uh, moving all this stuff. I'm going to take Helm's Deep and we're going to place it down there in the medieval area. So let's do that. Hey, speaking of that, we just finished watching Harry Potter because we were building the Hogwarts train. I'm pointing at it right now. That's why I'm pointing over there. Uh, but now we're watching the... What is it? The new Lord of the Rings series. Power of the Rings? Well, I can't remember the name of it. It's on Amazon. Whatever. We're watching that. Getting pretty into that. So now we're starting to rewatch all of the Lord of the Rings for the 14th time. Loving it. They're all on Crave. And you know what? They're not the extended versions. And I've only watched the extended versions as of late. So like the last 10 times I've watched it with the extended versions. So I'm excited to watch the, the theater versions of them again. Let's place Helm's Deep. This is actually a pretty cool set. I'm going to build it on my table here. That's actually pretty cool. I never knew it did like such a semicircle. I wish it was like more complete, you know, like bigger. I wish we got like a UCS style Helm's Deep or Lord of the Rings set. Definitely the best one is... The Tower of Orthanc up there behind the Harry Potter stuff for some reason. But yeah, look at all these minifigures that you get. Aragon, Gimli, uh, Legolas, all the uh, orcs, right? Including this guy who like runs in and blows it up the uh, the big wall, right? Blows up this wall. Ah, charges in there. And then we got uh, the king too, Theoden. Theoden, is that his name? I believe it is. But yeah, lots of cool print detailing on that uh, minifig there. That's rad. Also a horse. Highlight of the set is the horse. But yeah, I'm just going to put these back in a bag. I don't think I just don't want to like misplace those. You know what I mean? But then we're going to put this set down in the uh, medieval scene. Let's do it. Oh, man. I really should start working on this under here, shouldn't I? Just keep in mind that it's not like I'm not working. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm sitting around playing Xbox. I am doing stuff, and I am eventually going to do this. Oh, man. I should build that, though. Woo! Where am I going to put Helm's Deep, though? I have no idea. Where's it going to fit? I mean, I could technically take that king's castle there, maybe move it to the corner, move it back a bit, and then maybe put, like, Helm's Deep wrapping around there in the corner. And then we fit one more castle, and we start to fill up that back area there as well. 
But then it's coming along. I mean, then it's just like landscaping. And like I mentioned uh, not too long ago in a separate video, I actually ordered enough parts to create 100 trees. And that's the thing too, is I don't really want to jump into this and do it wrong, you know? I mean, I guess there's not really a wrong way. <laughs> but once I have like 100 trees built, ready to go, you can start placing them down here. They're probably, like this is going to be some sort of beachfront here. And we could probably run some sort of water, you know, conjoining these moats maybe and conjoining with that water there. I'm not too sure. Got quite a few minifigures down here though. Every time I come down here, I'm like, whoa, this is cool. <laughs> I should do something. Oh, okay. I'm going to slide that back, I think, and put Helm's Deep in the corner there though. I feel like Helm's Deep needs a little more height <laughs> like compared to the other castles. It doesn't look as mighty as Helm's Deep should look. So I don't know how I feel about this set, you know, like when you compare it to other castles. I mean, granted, that's a big Lego set. That's a rebrickable model using three sets. That's a rebrickable model using three sets. And this is a custom castle that I created on my own. So I guess you can't really compare this Lego set with the other ones down here. But it just looks sort of incomplete, you know what I mean? Eventually, I'm going to slide this back another half base plate. I just got to get some half base plates for back there. So I need four of them. I could just cut some, I guess, in half and use those. And then that's going to give this a little bit more breathing room. Yeah, but yeah, that's just a little uh, recap of what's going on down here. There's some trash that needs to be parted out there. What else is new? Let's move that crap. <laughs> okay, I take it back. This is not trash. This is very good parts, actually. Very good parts, indeed. I actually bought these guys from the Edmonton Brickyard last time I was there. Those are pretty awesome. You know what? I got to mill plate some of these other uh, residential buildings. You can see that they're just not looking too good. Because I just found this. And this is for 4 Privet Drive. And it reminded me of that. We also got this lovely card right here with the stork and the twins. It says, Dear Jose and Jordan, congratulations on the birth of your little wonders. Enjoy every minute of your time as a family. Love, Claudette. Well, thank you so much. That's amazing. Oh, yes, I can finally walk down here. Yeah, look at that. There's so much room. I can do aerobics down here. Yeah, we can twirl in circles. <laughs> you know what? I actually placed this minifigure. I just saw it. I placed it there so long ago for a little uh, TikTok post, and there it is. That's funny. He belongs over here with uh, his spaceship. Speaking of that, we still got to build the 90th anniversary spaceship. I wonder where we're going to put that. Interesting. So it's all cleared over there. It's all cleaned up. <laughs> when we were doing the uh, Lego City changes the other day, I accidentally dropped a bookshop. And it's still uh, right there. So I should probably clean that up as well. You know, normally if this were to happen, I would be in a glass cage of emotion. But luckily for me, we're actually going to part this out and do some sort of rebreakable model anyway. Because this was a spare bookshop that I bought on Facebook Marketplace for 80 Canadian dollars. It was a steal. Couldn't say no. How on earth am I going to retrieve all these pieces though? I need a broomstick. Looks like uh, Luna found one of our boxes. Hey kitty. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You found my box. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm going to make it my goal to sort and clean. Well, maybe not sort, but at least tidy up all of the stuff on my desk there. So that's all the stuff that was on the ground. But first, I'm going to vacuum. Did I brew another pot? Yes, yes I did. I mean, I don't brew full pots. I brew like smaller ones that are nice and strong. I just feel like it's better if it's fresh, you know? I mean, normally I use this bad boy right here, the Nespresso machine with all these fancy things. But if I'm going to drink lots of coffee in a day, I like to keep costs down by using the pot. But this thing's pretty sweet. Well, believe it or not, a couple hours later, I've managed to sort my way through the whole table. There's a fly in here. Did you see it? Driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, it flew right through the camera there. But yeah, I managed to get everything sorted, uh, which is awesome. You know, I, I can't believe it. Get everything parted out. Now I just got to file all this stuff away and yeah, it's looking good. Part chores are replenished. There's that fly again. I'm like Walter White right now. I'm going crazy. And I'm extremely happy to announce that I'm finally going to rehang all of this art. It's literally been down since 
we redid the Lego City. And I'm talking like since we moved the shelving over there. Remember when the shelving used to go around here and the city was in the middle? Yeah, that's how long this stuff has been off the wall for us. So it's time to hang this stuff. How perfect is this? Boom. That's amazing. Those things fit perfect. I love it. Just hung them with some command strips and then check this out. What do you notice? What's different? That's cool, hey? That's a sweet sign right there. Woo! Love it. Oh, I need to polish it a bit. It's got some fingerprints on it. What a great Sunday though. Getting so much stuff done today. Normally I'm not up at 7.30 because normally I'm up until like four or five in the morning dealing with the kids. But this time I went to bed and just woke up consistently and then I couldn't fall back asleep and then here we are. Now it's like, I think two o'clock, three o'clock. I can't remember. I'll have to check. I've lost track of time. And we've got so much stuff done, you know? Like that looks good. I sorted all these parts. There's no longer stuff on the ground. We put Helms Deep down there, cleaned up all the stuff over there. We made the Pandora display. I think that's about it, everybody. Like an amazing day. It's Sunday. I, I didn't think I was going to get this much done on a Sunday, but here we are. We are trying to build Groot up there right now. That's baby Groot. But <laughs> Jose's been trying to build it, but she's like the twins have literally just consumed her entire day. She's got like the mixtape done. That's it. See, when you're dealing with two babies, it's hard to build Lego even. This is all she's got done. Awesome mix volume one. That's a cool little build there though for a cassette tape. Very cool. Also, look at this specification spike. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. That's so awesome. I would build it, but Jose really wants to build this one. So we're going to leave that for her. So now I'm going to go edit this video. I literally have no idea how long it's going to be. I think I've, I've filmed a lot of clips and I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Hilarious, but a great day in the Lego room for me. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Like I said, I think we got lots done today and I'm pretty excited about it. Thank you so much for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And farewell. Have a great week.